Hi Booktube. I decided to uh, sit in my main study tonight, make this video because I got the stereo going. I'm playing Godspeed You Black Emperor. I'm playing an older CD. They have a new one out, but I'm listening to something older. So yeah, I thought I'd make a video. It's been at least 24 hours. Today is October the 4th. It's a Wednesday. There's 88 more days left in this year. I ended on page 902 in my 2017 diary. Tomorrow's a Thursday, the 5th. Next Thursday, I'll be here by myself. Calendar says my Carol leaves the 10th of October. She leaves here, her plane leaves at 6 in the morning. So yeah, so I thought I would make a video. What I have been reading since I last made a video. I did go to a thrift store. One of the books I've, I had only found two, two used books. The other one I left in the dining room, so I'm not going to go get it. But I found the book y the other day. I went to local thrift stores and I found, let me see here. I wrote it down in my diary here. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't write it down. Anyway, I found two, two used books. But I didn't write them down. Oh yeah, I did. The, the one I don't have here in, the, in the, my main study, it was titled Bug Music, How Insects Gave Us Rhythm and Noise by David Rothenberg. It's a little paperback. It's called Bug Music, How Insects Gave Us Rhythm and Noise. Carol says she's going to take it with her on her trip out to Seattle. And the other one I do have in my study, I found uh, John Macon's biography of George Herbert Walker Bush, Destiny and Power, the American Odyssey of George Herbert Walker Bush by John Make Makeham. Now, why I bought this is not because I'm a fan of W of George H H Herbert Walker Bush, but because I collect his biographies. He wrote a biography on Thomas Jefferson, The Art of Power, The American Gospel, Franklin and Winston Winston Churchill and The American Lion, which is on Andrew Jackson. So I collect his biographies, and I only got it for like, uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. It's in, it's in perfect shape. It doesn't even look red. Smells okay. So I got that for a dollar, added to my biography section. So that's about all. What I've been, I've been, I read yesterday some more of The Life, Isaac Berlin, A Life by Michael Higgin, Higginoff. Hig, uh, I'm still getting through this. I got maybe. I say around maybe 70 pages left, 60. And I've been reading Hasselman of the Distinction, a novel by Paul Lafarge. But today, all I read was The Ascent of Mark Carmel by St. John of the Cross. This is, this is the edition I bought way back in 1971 in San Pablo, California. Remember in, in my video I mentioned I went to a small little Catholic bookstore back when I first became a Christian 
and I bought the spiritual canticle by St. John of the Cross, and I bought the Saint of Mark Carmel. I've had these books with me 47 years. Isn't that incredible? Uh, and I showed you the edition I got when I was in seminary, the collected works of St. John of the Cross. And uh, so I, I read, this is why all I read today, because I'm kind of like in this mood where I just can read mystical theology and I'm okay. I also have this biography on John of the Cross, Doctor of Light and Love by Kevin Kaganoff. I got that out. He's the one that did the, the tr one of the translations of the collected works of St. John of the Cross. And, oh, I was going to mention, I also have the, the co collected works of St. Teresa of Avila. You really have got to read these together because St. John of the Cross was the spiritual director to St. Teresa of Avila, and they kind of complement each other. So it's really good to read St. Teresa of Avila. Uh, you have volume one, which contains her life. Uh, yeah, it, her book of life is in, and then you have in here spiritual testimonies. Then in volume two, you have the way of perfection, meditations on the song of songs, uh, the interior castle, which is very famous for. I read the interior castle last year. And then you have in here the Foundations, which is this book not only tells the story of the establishment of her monasteries, but characteristics of Teresa, digests into counsels on prayer, love, melancholy, virtuous living and dying, plus other teachings of the Mother Foundress. This book also an excellent introduction chronologically the map of Teresa's foundations and journey. So, uh, read St. Teresa of Avila, read St. John of the Cross, but most of all, primarily above everything else, read the Holy Bible. Uh, it's You always read the Bible, and everything that you read must be judged if it's biblical, if it's scriptural. Uh, St. John of the Cross was, is not uh, on the same level as the Bible. The Bible rules, is our supreme rule, how we judge and determine if, everything, if anything is really truth, the Bible. Also, it's good not only to read Catholic writers, but read the Reformation Commentary series, 1 Corinthians. I'm kind of excited that next month they're releasing the, the commentary in Hebrews and James in the Reformation Commentary series. I'm really enjoying this series, and it's worth reading. So read the Bible, read St. John the Cross, read the Reformation Commentary, and do it on your knees. Do it in the state of prayer. Read St. Teresa, read John Calvin, read John Owen, Thomas Goodwin. If you want some current writers, read, I don't know, John Piper, John MacArthur, Joel Beakey, people like that. I got a whole library here I could show you. But anyway, so that's what I read today. I was reading the Spiritual Canonical. Uh, I did go to the library with my wife this evening. She wanted to put a book on hold, and I checked out some essays by Tom McCarthy, Typewriters, Bombs, and Jellyfish Essays. Uh, Tom McCarthy is a British writer. He's very kind of a uh, modernist kind of writer. I have a couple of his novels downstairs, and I wanted, so I was reading this tonight, the first essay in here by Tom McCarthy, Typewriters, Bombs, and Jellyfish. Checked out the CD, the new CD by the Rebel, the Rebel Nets, 
2016 Autonomized. I have a couple other CDs. I have CDs by them. I listened to this tonight. I wasn't too, too uh, impressed by it. So yeah, that's all I can think of as far as what's going on. Like I said, I don't feel well. Uh, I'm just hanging in there, looking to the Lord for grace. You just got to keep on, keep on chucking, keep on going down the road. So yeah, so I thank you for the new subscribers. Feel free to comment, ask me questions. Tell me what you're reading. Tell me what you're going through. If you got any prayer requests, uh, I'm here. So I don't have anything coming in the mail this week. I don't know if I'll go to any th more thrift stores. I'm kind of burnt out. So yeah. So I'll say goodnight. And until next time, bye.